this is my fourth show at the Early Bird. I started last year. My favorite part is that we kind of get to have fun here. It's, we do all comedy and farces and, and whatnot, and it's, and it's fun. I've, I've, I've had more fun here than I've had anywhere else, I have to say. But it's just uh, studying lines, trying to get to know your character. You learn your blocking, which is learning where you are on the stage at any given time during the show. But um, you, yeah, you, you learn your lines and you get to know your character and try to you know, be that, that person as much as possible. And it's, it's, it's a fun process. Actually, the rehearsal process is sometimes even more fun than doing the shows. <laughs> I have a degree in theater and I understand what theater is if you want to look at quotation marks and we don't really do what's common theater here. Our audience, the kind of, the audience that I love to come here is the guy that gets drug in by his wife that's never been to a play before and says, oh damn it, I'm not going to see no play. And then he comes and he sits in the front row and you put, you mark that, you mark him, and you know, and by the by the middle of the act one, you got him laughing his ass off. And when he leaves, he goes, "Oh, that's the best thing I ever see. I'm coming back." That's what I love to do. That's what we do here. During a production, stage manager uh, handles the light board and the sound board, um, and that's what I do during the production. Also, we. Um, set the props for the actors. If they have a basket backstage, they have to carry on. We make sure everything's set up backstage so they have their props. And um, also uh, costumes to make sure if there's something added, like um, in this particular case, uh, if they have to put on a apron it, that it's backstage. So really you have to uh, make sure they have costumes, their props, if there's a scene change, uh, the stage manager will come out and strike or take things off the stage. Uh, if something has to be added, add it. And uh, all this while you're doing lights and sound. Once a production goes up, the director uh, no longer is involved. Uh, it's the stage manager's show. The stage manager is in charge of making sure the actors are on stage, on time. I am a renaissance woman. I do it all. When the show is being re rehearsed, um, it will be a gradual, I'll, uh, the stage manager, myself, will hold script. And as the uh, actors are progressively learning their lines, they will call out to the stage manager line and I will give them a cue along with making sure they can work with the props they'll be using for the production so they can get used to um, the routine. And then we wean them off the script and uh, at a certain point they can't call for lines and the stage manager will just sit and sweat uh, at the light booth. <laughs> Every show, whether it's a farce, whether it's a comedy, a tragedy, whatever it is, Every show must have somewhere in it must have some redeeming social value. And if it doesn't have some redeeming social value, we make something up. And we just, because in theater we can justify anything. What I think that theater brings to the community is the ability for art to express human emotion. And I think that's very important. I mean, theater, th through theater, you can express all different sorts of emotions, but also beauty, and we all need beauty. Art, any kind of art. Where else do you see beauty other than in nature? It's through our art. And I think that without that, we're, we're lost. We really need that as human beings. We need beauty. And through art and theater and paintings and music, all of it, we, we need that beauty.